On July 4, 1943, the American Forces Network signed on the air and began its 60-year reign of the airwaves in Europe. From its humble beginnings as a radio network to its rise as one of the largest radio and television networks in the world, AFN had a front row seat to some of the biggest events of the 20th century. With more about our look back at the last 60 years of AFN, here's the series producer, Kane Fairbaugh. This week, we celebrate that history with the launch of the landmark documentary series On the Air Over There, a history of the American Forces Network Europe. Over two years in the making, this exclusive series details the history of AFN in four different episodes, marking four important periods of the network's history. Tonight, we'd like to give you a peek at what's in store for you over the next month. In London, England, on July 4th, 1943, Army Corporal Sil Binken would make history by uttering six simple words. This is the American Forces Network. A collection of wires, tubes, and microphones serving American forces in Europe, serving freedom in Europe. This is democracy on a dial, a voice among the mute, a radio station in olive drab. Now, 60 years later, AFN celebrates its diamond anniversary with a look back at six decades of broadcasting in Europe. Now we're going to give you a show. And everybody used to laugh because I used to say, we're going to put a show on in the bar. Our troops at AFN, they all consider themselves to be broadcasters first and soldiers second. And the command considered them to be soldiers first and broadcasters second. AFN news and the outfit. Over the next year, we'll explore the impact of AFN on post-war Europe. We were Cold War warriors, you know. And how the little radio network that could became one of the largest broadcasting operations in the world. I, I think AFN was very much of its time. Uh, it was something completely new then. Uh, it opened our eyes to a form of presentation and entertainment that we hadn't known. From D-Day to the present day, from the Azores to Afghanistan, this is the story of how General Dwight Eisenhower's wish to keep the soldiers informed transformed the cultural landscape in Europe and became the source of news and entertainment for three generations of service members in Europe. Join us as we celebrate 60 years of serving the men and women in uniform with a series of special reports and television events. Don't miss on the air, over there. This is AFN, serving American forces in Europe. On the air, over there, premieres tonight at 9 p.m. Central European time on AFN Spectrum. From our AFN headquarters in Frankfurt, Germany, I'm Kane Fairbaugh. And one more time for you, that show premieres tonight at 9 p.m. on AFN Spectrum. And if you miss it tonight, you can catch it tomorrow night right here on AFN Atlantic at 6 p.m. or on Sunday at 11 a.m. Central European time. It's going to be a good one. I can't. I'm going to watch that. It seems very exciting. It's it's so amazing to me to try and wrap my brain around just how how big we are and, and how long we've been around. The history is just yeah. so so incredible. Anyway, we're going to break away for some local programming at this time. But for the rest of you sticking around, the latest stateside headlines are up next.